Praise, praise, Master Jesus. Praise, Master Jesus. Henry here. I know you guys are doing awesome. There is a dream that I had, and God was speaking through that dream. And it makes me more excited. I said, let me share it with you guys. All right. So this dream, I was... Uh, in, you know, in a house, I was in a little house. So in this little house, you can see the windows. You know, you can see the windows and also the the, the outside doors. So there is more like we were like maybe four or five people in this uh, house. Just let me just say one room. You know, just one room. We were like five. Yep. Then uh, all of a sudden, uh, we notice there is something coming to attack us. There is something that is trying to, you know, kill us. So when I looked outside, I saw it was a lion, like leopard. Uh, so I was like, wow. And uh, you can tell that there were like three of them or kind of four of them. So there we are so into trying to kill us then uh, i was so afraid i was you know i was so scared and everybody in there was so scared but the very interesting thing in this dream is this we were so afraid the door was open and the window was open all right but we were so aff like shaking so if you want to run out from the from the front door, they're going to attack you. You know, you can see that they were so aggressive, they want to come inside that room. Then if you want to jump out from the window, they are going to attack you. But one thing that I noticed in this dream was this. They, those lions, those leopards can easily jump into the house, into that room very easily from the door or from the window but they could not be able to jump in but we that are inside inside that room was afraid was scared you know the you know so i was doing that trying to jump from the window i said no they're gonna attack me get me from if i jump out if we want to run out from the door they're gonna get us but the thing was, the doors were open. The windows were open. If they want to come in, they can be able to come in. Then the dream cut off. So God began to speak to me. A lot of Christians, a lot of believers are in a house, in a room, in a place of their life. But they are afraid of the enemy that is not able that is sorry that is not even able to touch them they are roaming around like a roaring lion but they cannot come in and god began to speak to me that little house that i saw is the edge of god is the protection of god and that's why it seems like they are, the, the lion can easily jump in or leopard can easily jump in, but they are seeing what we cannot see. <laughs> They're seeing what you and I cannot be able to see. They're seeing the protection of God, knowing that they cannot come in where we are, but we were afraid. So the Christians and the, you know the believers in these days are into this fear, into this uh, 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 depressed, into this uh, uh, I'm alone. Uh, where is God? God is not able. He's not protecting me anymore. I'm going through all this. No, it's the fear that you are seeing. God says, God says, it's the fear that you are seeing. The things that are scaring you. You thinking in your mind, in your head that God. Is, is so far away to help you. God is not even close to you. That's the mindset of us. God begin to speak to me. A lot of Christians are into this into this predicament. But God is protecting us. 
God, the Satan, the Bible said that surely they must gather. But if their gathering is not of God, they must scatter. So that means those things, you see them. You are thinking they are above you. They can destroy you. They, you know, this temptation is so hard. This difficult time is so hard. You can't get... But those temptations are seeing you, knowing that they cannot even attack you. They cannot even kill you. They can only come around to scare you, but they cannot even get to you. But fear put you down. Fear put crushed you fear 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 god I, I was like wow i was at work today and god was just ministering this i was like just wow the christians of these days are more into fear um I, you know what the thing that is going on in uh, right now yes uh this disease is, is out there you know and a lot of people are so into like what shall i do uh, uh, do I need to obey the government? Do I need to obey God? Hey, remember what the scripture says. Obey the, 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 uh, the, the leaders of the land. So you are not in a sin if you obey. Okay, they say sit home. Okay, they say uh, uh, close the whole church. You are not in sin if you close your church. You are not in sin if you don't go to church in this hour. You are not. It's just your mindset condemning you. It's just your mindset putting that fear in you. No, remember this. Uh, the, the angel of God came in the dream and spoke to Joseph. Hey, hey, hurry up. Hurry up. Herod is about to kill. Herod is about to kill Jesus. Take Jesus. Jesus Christ himself. He said, hurry up, hurry up, take him out. So there is a time and there is a season. That's when we need to know season and timing. You can't just be afraid all your life. Be fearful all your life. Or you, you, you want to be disobedient to a, a government or a, a leader of, the, of the, you know, the country. You just need to know what God is saying at the right time. Fear cannot take you anywhere. That you are staying home doesn't mean that you are in fear. No. We have to use wisdom. We have to know what God is saying. We have to fight a good fight. We have to stand against principalities and powers. This is the, the, the right time that the children of God will fight a good fight. It's a spiritual warfare. Those lions, those leopards in that dream that are spiritual warfare that you cannot see in real life, that, that they will be attacking you. No, it's a spiritual warfare. So everything that is going on right now is a spiritual warfare that you need to stand on your, uh, on your feet, in your prayers, in your room, communicate with God time after time, season after season. All right, so God said, fear not. He is in control. Fear not. He will never allow you to be put to shame. Fear not. Those tigers, lions, those difficulties in your life, yes, they have limit. When the Bible said there is time for everything, it might be the time of you going through what you are going through, but the time of victory is surely going to come. The time to testify, the time to glorify God, those time is coming. I just want you to hold on to God, stand on your feet, God loves you. He will never allow you to be put to shame. Alright? God bless you. Bye.